Hey everyone, this is Dylan. Hello, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing great. Everyone's having a magical day because today I'm going to be doing a review of the Disney Princess Cinderella and it's called a Royal Fashion Reveal. Um, and so far, I believe this is the only version of this, but I wonder if Mattel will make more. And um, I purchased her on Amazon, but I'm not sure she may be available in other places. But so far we have just Cinderella in this line. I would love to see other princesses, of course. I think Mattel has more up their sleeves. It's just we have to give them time and uh, keeping up with our collector needs. <laughs> so um, first we're gonna take a look at the packaging here. So it says Disney Princess, and there is, um, uh, according to them, 125 different looks you can do with this doll. So I don't understand how that's going to work, but I will just have to see. <laughs> so it says Cinderella Royal Fashion Reveal. That's trademarked. <laughs> and everything is gold and foiled. It's very pretty. This is one of the nicest packagings for a Playline doll by Mattel uh, I've seen. Um, it says that there are 14 surprises. And we will just have to see what that is. Looks like there's a Cinderella doll. Um, looks like there's a little mouse friend, some shoes, skirts, accessories. Really, really fun. Now, all over the box, there's these fun little images that go back to the Cinderella film. So there is Jock and Gus by the Mattel logo. The glass slipper. Uh, that is Cinderella's blue bird. And I actually really love this image of Cinderella in her pink dress with the beads um, around her neck, you know, these beads. <laughs> so I wonder if we will get something like that in there, but we will have to see more bluebirds. It, it looks like a wardrobe. As we turn it around, there's like shelving. It has like images of things. Maybe this is like um, a good indicator of what's inside. So like a dress. Probably the little clock goes straight back to the Cinderella story. Oh, yeah, there's a little pumpkin bag. So I wonder if that's sort of an indicator of what's inside. So whenever we get everything open, this is what it's gonna look like. There's like a fold-out wardrobe. All these little accessories, Mattel. <laughs> so that is the beautiful packaging here. So I believe that we have to get this tape off here and then this will somehow fold out so for convenience i got that there and then this here so it seems like the the fold out mechanism or like the paper i suppose there's no mechanism um oh there's some tape down here at the bottom too oopsie okay so that should be undone now that was the only thing holding all of this together oh wow Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, let's just go ahead and get you out of the way. Cinderella, there. We'll have to look at her again in just a moment. I just have to get her wardrobe station set up. This is very pretty. I really like like the the themes that they used here. There's like this beautiful Cinderella inspired wallpaper. And some of the accessories we've seen on the outside of the box are up here, like the little crown, and then there's the purses, the shoes. Uh, Cinderella's bluebirds are here, and you know, Jock and Gus helping her. And that is actually the sewing book from her room. Um, but I really, really love this wallpaper. It's giving very, very much early 2000s Cinderella vibes. Um, <laughs> if anybody uh, knows what that means. Maybe, maybe some of you out there will, will understand my reference. Um, but there's just many drawers and it looks like you pop them out. And then there's like little doors here for a wardrobe. First though, looks like Cindy was just kind of placed in the middle of it. So we have a Cinderella doll, of course. This is the current Mattel face sculpt. Beautiful. I don't think I have to review that because I have discussed that so many times here, which I think it looks beautiful. Um, so I've looked at it many, many times in the paint job. <laughs> she has a blue crown on, looks like it's rubber banded to her hair. And she's got her bun up there looking very nice and sharp. So around her neck, she has a choker. And then she has a plastic molded top and it looks like there's little silver ruffles in there, little blue gems, hearts, 
ruffles. It's it's very, very pretty. It almost looks like armor in a way. <laughs> um, but I think that they're just trying to cut corners with not making a fabric top. So that's definitely what that is. But I think that there's some interchangeable ones in here. Um, so we, of course I have to look at that, you know, and I do like the option of just being able to pop the top on and off, but you know, uh, maybe for small children, that would be very, um, handy. You know, it's hard to get dolls, arms and sleeves. So she also has a fabric skirt on and the skirt has the shimmering sparkle design, uh, little stars on there. Very pretty. It reminds me very much of Cinderella's transformation. Um, and she has on blue glass slippers. So how about we get Cindy out of ooh, kitty cat hair? <laughs> I don't know how, but I don't let my cats in my doll room, but they always seem to get a little hair here and there. So we will be uh, taking these scissors and snipping the little bindings that Cinderella has. Looks like behind her head, there's of course little anchors. Always makes me nervous, you know, cutting it out. But it's easier whenever your doll has like a bun or like shorter hair. All right. This is the um, pattern that's on the wallpaper as well. It's very beautiful. There's like a pumpkin, there's a clock tower and slippers on there. All things that of course represent Cinderella. I think this doll is beautiful. Gorgeous, looks like the choker is removable. That's something new as well. And yes, the top pops off um, whenever we go to redress her because there is more accessories here. We will see the construction of all of that. I think there might be more shoes too. I think so. <laughs> All right, so we'll have Miss Cindy just hang out over here, trying to get this stand to pop on right, but where her torso thing is on there, that makes it a little more difficult. <laughs> so we will see what's inside of Miss Cindy's um, closets, and then we will, of course, have to see what they look like on her. Now, I don't know if I can recreate the 125 different looks that they claim that are in here. As far as I can tell, this box is going to get destroyed. So I just wanted to make sure you, everyone can see what's uh, here. But, you know, when you rip these things open, it's there's just no going back. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of what the best way is to do this. So maybe we'll just start over here. Ooh, it's in a pumpkin shape surprise. Oh, how beautiful. Wow, so they really carried the theme through. Looks like there's like a little tear thing here. So I'm wondering if all of the whole basis of the set is to have surprises, you know, um, which is really fun, you know, whenever you're a, a child or an adult, you don't know what you're going to get. Ah, so this is one of Cinderella's mice friends. Um, it doesn't particularly look like any mouse from the film. I want to say her name is Susie or Mary. Um, there are a lot of female mice in Cinderella's room, and this is definitely one of those. Uh, she has a yellow dress on and a pink bow. <laughs> has a little red nose like Rudolph. Super cute. Adorable. I really like that accessory, especially since we never really see that character represented. All right, so let's keep going. See, there's just no way to save the drawers. All right, so in this pumpkin surprise, pumpkin surprise, sounds like it should be a dessert, you know, pumpkin surprise. Ooh, it's a bow, a headband for Cindy, perhaps. Adorable. Maybe you could put it around her waist. This little piece of Velcro, so you could probably use it for something. Adorable. I'm just going to put all this to the side until we're completely finished. <laughs> all right. So in this box, we have... Another tiara. I actually really like this one more than the one she's wearing. So it's silver and it has a blue heart in the middle. Of course, it will go well with any of her looks. So I think 
I see what they're saying. So like you can change like one thing and have a whole new look basically um, is where we're getting the high number. Ooh, this one feels different. Ooh, okay, so here's another one of her bodices. I guess you just pop it on. This looks more like her classic look. So it's blue, it has little beads on it, and there are heart gems and uh, other gems up there around her uh, neckline. Very beautiful. So of course we'll have to try that. Ooh, that one was sort of already popped open. This one's small what it feels like. Oh, I ripped it the wrong way. <laughs> I have to use the scissors. Ah, uh, so this is a necklace and it looks like it matches the crown that was there. Yeah. So those match. I'm trying not to lose anything. I actually lost one of my ILY doll shoes and I know it's in my doll room somewhere. I just can't find it. So it's really annoying me. I know it's here. It's probably like really close by right now and I just can't find it. <laughs> All right, the last little small item. Try to get this right. This is shoes. I was gonna say, we need to have some different shoe options here. Ooh, so these are like silver slippers, okay. And they look like glass, of course. Beautiful. Love that. So we'll have to try that on her. Um, all right. So this wardrobe certainly has some surprises in it. <laughs> Oop, I think I ripped the doors. Oh, no. Aha. Ooh, okay. I was expecting there to be more clothes in there. Like I, I was, I don't know why, but I was thinking that there would be more than just one skirt in there. But, so I, I suppose things didn't get totally demolished, but in a way, yeah. <laughs> so this is um, plastic bag. Of course it has the, the only wardrobe option. So it is a blue skirt and it has silver sparkles on it, like silver bursts on there. Wow. All right. So, so what we got to do is, um, see what we can do with Cinderella because there are several different outfit changes you can make. So I think I'm going to make like two just to see how everything goes. Her tiara is definitely still tacked on, so even though they have the option of changing that, they did tack one on her, you know? But, um, so what I'm gonna do is I will see what I can work with here. But honestly, you could probably combine the outfits. Um, yeah, so, so there's a lot going on here, so we, we, I think I'll figure it out. <laughs> So what we're going to do is just remove things. So they did rubber band um, things on of this outfit. And I think that's just because she was like, um, car, you know, pinned to that cardboard. So I could see why they wanted to secure things. But, you know, um, that was probably just for shipping and such. So we will just work to um, get those things off. Um and we can just see the construction of everything. But like I said, you can almost just, you know, like pile all the clothes together and make like one big fancy outfit, which I think is what I'll do in the end. <laughs> Her choker is very small, so you have to be very careful. So how do we... Okay, so that just pops right off. Um... Looks like they've, oh, there's like a peplum. Okay, so that's a different piece. I was gonna say, that looked kind of wonky. And then there's this piece. All right. So this is the body that we've been seeing. Get these little rubber bands. 
that we have been seeing. And um, of course the feet are arched there. Um, she has like a blue under uh, outfit on. Um, you know, not everything is completely articulated, but this is more articulation than the normal Cinderella core doll you're gonna find just out in the wild, you know, shopping for dolls. So what we're gonna do is I will try to make a different outfit configuration. <laughs> Hopefully everyone approves. So I'm gonna to try to go with the opposite that was on her, you know, so that we can get some variation. <laughs> so around the waist, there's like an elastic band. That way we can um, just, you know, flop it on there. Um, oh, and there is a lot of glitter coming off. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of glitter coming off. <laughs> All right, so what we wanna try now is the blue top because we didn't have that before so it just sort of clicks on like armor she does look a little bit like a soldier with that <laughs> move these two little pieces of fabric here all right so and she of course needs this necklace beautiful And we need to update the shoes. <laughs> All right, beautiful, of course. Oh, is that the wrong foot? Yeah, beautiful. All right, Miss Cinder. So, and I know I said I wasn't gonna use, well, let's use the bow because I think that could make a difference here. So there's just, from what I'm seeing, there's so many different combinations that you could have, you know, and you could use your multiplication skills to kind of add that up. But there's just so many different things you could do. I guess that this this bow could be around Cinderella's head if you really wanted it to. Oh, let's center this a little bit better. <laughs> so you can have something like that, you know, um, with her different shoes. Um, of course, if you wanted to remove the crown from its uh, bindings, um, you could put the crown on her, and that's just one thing, like, I'll never get that back on the same. So, but you could do that. But, hmm. so yeah, I kind of like the other dress better. I don't know. <laughs> but you could do the same thing. You could switch, switch and, you know, change things up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a creation here, and let's just see what you guys think. My goodness, after I put all this stuff on her, she's gonna look a little gaudy, I think. Um, actually, she might look like a queen with uh, so done up. So let's uh, put the choker on too. So she's got like the double necklace thing going on. Very queenly, you know? Um, and I like this dress, I like this shoe. So um, let's take this from before and we can like layer it maybe, and create like this confection, you know, of just all these accessories. <laughs> this may be for like her coronation or something, you know, as queen. <laughs> you know, and actually that isn't half bad. <laughs> no, I don't think that's bad at all. And we need this. And that could probably complete the look, yeah. So I know this may be just a little bit gaudy, but it is a lot. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it would look like with all the accessories on her, you know. Well, of course you can't put two pairs of shoes on her and you can't put like all kinds of crowns on her, but hey, it kind of works, you know. So 
I'm kind of satisfied with that. Um, I think it's very lovely. Um, she, she does look like she's going to like her royal coronation. Oh, oops. I'm sorry, little mousey. I didn't mean to block you in. <laughs> but she does sort of look like she's, uh, going to a coronation or some type of major event, you know. And of course, the my, the mice dressers, um, helped her. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, that is all here for the Cinderella uh, Royal Fashion Reveal. I believe that's what it was called in the beginning. <laughs> Can't flip it around now. But 14 accessories, so many fashion options, you know, work Cinderella work. Um, let me know what you guys think and what you would do. And of course, stay tuned for more videos on my channel. Make sure you follow, subscribe if you want to keep up with all my posts. And that way you won't miss anything. All right, I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. See you.